Okay, now that we've looked at creating custom marking menus, let's take a, a look at, um, at hotkeys and how we can create custom hotkeys for our alias session. So under Preferences, Interface, instead of Marking Menus, we're going to choose the Hotkey Menu Editor. This will bring up the editor. And now we have to really think about what it is we want to assign a hotkey to. What are those things that we do a lot that just make sense? One of the things that I know I like to do a lot is duplicate object. So I'd like alias to work more like other applications, Maya, for example, where I can just use a control D and that will invoke a duplicate. So if I go to menu, I have file, edit, expand, edit, move down to duplicate. and then object. So in this case, I want this to work like other applications. So I'm just going to go control plus the D button. Enter seals the deal. So let's give that a test. If I create a sphere and then choose control D using the space bar to confirm the duplicate, which it prompts me in the, um, in the prompt line, I now have a duplicate object. And let's just go to the move and slide that over. And there it is. I can also, uh, construction history, for example, I find that I use that a lot. Just when I'm done with history, I like to delete it. So in deleting construction history, we know that Alt-A is the hot key to delete the active. Maybe Alt plus the C button would work for me. Once I do this, you will sometimes get a warming, warning that you'll need to confirm that this has already been assigned to something else. I recommend taking a look at it. This is nothing that I use for display all. So I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm going to overwrite that and make that my own. So now if I use the Alt C, I can delete construction history. But what if we wanted to do something else? Um, let's just move over to the shelf. I'm sorry, not the shelf, the palette. Surfaces and I just wanted to create a sphere by using the S key. So if I hit S, enter, again, this has already been mapped. Paint size, I'm okay with that. I don't really use the paint as often as I create surfaces, so I'm, I'll am i let that overwrite. Now I come over here and when I hit S, I should be able to just create a sphere. But yet when I hit S, nothing happens. There's a reason for this. The prompt line gets priority. So as I type in S, it gets added to the prompt line and not as a hotkey. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go to Preferences, move down to Interface, and I'm going to toggle on Single Hotkeys. Now, that I use the single hotkey of S, it puts me into the sphere tool. Keep in mind, if you want to type in anything into the prompt line now, you'll have to click in the prompt line and begin typing. And now it will just type the S's up here and not invoke that sphere tool. So really weigh that out on um, what is going to get, what is going to provide the best or most benefit to you. So both are options. If you change your mind, simply reset that hotkey. And again, go to Preferences, Interface, and then toggle off single hotkeys.